Okay, so here are the forms for circles. So notice that they're all um, going through the origin, or the pole, I guess I should say, and they match to a particular form. So that's what we're doing, a big part of what we learn in this section. We don't do a lot of these graphs all the time, but what we learn is how to identify forms of a particular equation. So this says if r equals a cosine theta, and a is greater than zero, it's going to look something like this picture. And here's the one if a is less than zero, but you have cosine. And now here we have sine, which is the one we did. We had, um, for our other previous example, we had r equals 2 sine theta, and it looked like that type of picture, right? Okay, and then if a, in that case, we had a, which was 2, was greater than 0, okay? But what if a had been less than 0? Well, then it would have reflected about the um, polar axis, which kind of makes some sense, and it would look like that. So what we want to do, instead of wasting a lot of time trying to um, find points and ordered pairs, we're going to look for forms. So it says in example 3, sketch a graph of r equals 4 cosine theta. So we say, oh, that looks like this form right here. My a is greater than 0, so this is, in this case, a is 4, so that means a is greater than 0, and it's a cosine. So it's going to look something like this graph, okay? Now, I can think about the maximum value. I know cosine theta is 1 at 0, right? So if I'm thinking about a table of values, I can think about, well, if I put in 0 for cosine, that would give me 4 cosine 0, which would equal 4. And I can plot that point. Here's my polar axis. And then I'm going out 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm putting a point right there, okay? And then I also know when uh, cosine is 0, right? So cosine is 0. Cosine theta equals 0 when um, theta is pi over 2. So I can think about going to pi over 2, and then that would give me 0 because I'd have 4 times 0, right? Okay. So rotate pi over 2, and then don't go any place. And there you go, all right? And then you can find more ordered pairs. Now maybe a good one to find would be um, pi over 3. That might be a good one. That might be friendly. Um, so I'd have r equals 4 cosine pi over 3. But what's the cosine of pi over 3? 1 half. And so I would get 2. So I go to pi over 3, which is right here. This is pi over 3 right there. And I go out uh, 1, 2. Now, you can think about cosine being negative pi over 3, right? That would be down here. Um, and it would be right there. And so you start to get a picture of what's going on. We know what it looks like because of the form. It's a circle. So you can find more ordered pairs. So I'm just going to try to draw a circle here, and I'll just do my best, okay? All right, so that's that one. Don't panic. There's different forms, but we're not going to spend forever doing these, <laughs> not by hand.